Africa's fastest-growing economy is facing a political and security crisis as riots have struck major cities in recent weeks. The outcome of the crisis will have important implications for an important economic hub in West Africa that will soon start producing natural gas and crude oil for European and other Western markets. On the 1st of June, violent protests erupted in Senegal's major cities, including the capital Dakar, the regional market town of Kaolak, and the southern city of Siguincha, following the sentencing to prison of a popular but vocally populist opposition leader. A Dakar court sentencing judgment triggered four days of riots, arson, vandalism, looting, and fighting with security forces. By mid-June, at least 16 people had been killed, marking the deadliest unrest in Senegal in many years and posing the greatest challenge so far to the political stability of the government led by President Macky Sall. Protesters have targeted commercial assets and important infrastructure assets, such as utilities, petrol stations, and roads, in an apparent attempt to destabilize the country and disrupt the economy. The deployment of the military and relative discipline of security forces should mitigate the threat of protracted and more intense confrontations. Going forward, any escalation of violence in coming weeks or months and a spike in the number of casualties would undoubtedly provoke reproach from international partners and donors. Any heavy-handed actions by security forces would also be likely to elicit criticism from the International Monetary Fund, which in May reached a staff-level agreement on a new funded program for Senegal which is urgently needed to stabilize balance of payments and provide budget support ahead of future anticipated revenues from extractive sectors, notably nascent oil and gas production. In worst-case scenario, IMF board-level approval of the new program may be stalled due to the unrest. Pantia Risk has consistently and accurately forecast outbreaks of political violence in Senegal. Most specifically and recently, we projected that, likely triggers for widespread incidents of unrest include any indications that opposition leader Usman Sonko will be arrested or excluded from the 2024 vote. If further violence does spiral out of control, a much-needed new IMF program may not be confirmed and disruption to commercial assets, including in the oil and gas sector, would be probable. Destabilization of the Casamance area would spike the risk of localized militancy and smuggling operations along the border with Gambia, 